everyone, this is Buck Clown from the Gamers Pulse. I'm doing a quick little tutorial video here. I had enough questions on it and actually told a guy I would record a video showing him how to do the stalker part with the force gun for his hardcore run in Dead Space 2. Um, I figured since enough people asked me and enough people told me they think the force gun is garbage or why to use a force gun, and since this guy won the video anyways, I figured this would be a perfect video to display why you should use the force gun. Uh, just so you know, I'm in my second playthrough on this game. I paid to have this force gun respec because I had it fully upgraded. I paid to de-upgrade it, we'll say. And now you see the stalkers running around. Oh, see this is why the force gun's good. That's one way to do it. I'm going to show you another way to do it. You can do that to them, stasis them, and run up and blam. Then you can just wait till they get right in front of you. And I'm going to go to the next bench with this video just to show you. I did pay to respec it. The only There's only one damage upgrade. I think I have one or two capacity and one and two reloads. And as you can see... With the stalkers, if you let them get too close, they will fuck your shit up. But what I just showed you is how easy that part is with the force gun. And really, any enemy is like that. The more powerful the force gun gets, the more stronger stuff you can kill with a point blank blast like that. The reason I tell people to use the force gun is because it's a uh, good crowd control gun. Because as you saw, at a distance, I knocked that one stalker down, stasis him, and then ran up and did another shot, and he was dead. So, that's why I say to use this gun, because it's a good crowd control gun, and you need that in hardcore. Uh, it's great, like, it's if you're in deep shit, is what it is, really. Because it will knock people down, or if they're up close on you, they will... You know, they'll get knocked back or get killed if they're close enough. It kills children no matter how far away they are in one shot. And I believe the bench is right up here so I can actually show you that I did pay to, you know, de-upgrade this gun just to show you how good it really is. Right here, it's the Z-Lot Force Gun. Yeah, see, I have paid, I got one damage power node put in, a capacity, magnum, two capacities, one reload, and one speed. So, I mean, really, that's about what you would have at this point in the game on your hardcore run through, because, like I said, you only want to use two guns plasma cutter and the, the force gun. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, you stumbled upon this one first. Go back and rewatch it. This one, this, this video is going to be a response to that hardcore tutorial video. But I'm going to, I'm also going to show you real quick. I'm, one guy asked, I'm using, where I'll show you quick. I'm using a Z-Lot force gun. Uh, as you can see, my Z-Lot, it's a collector's edition. So if you didn't get the collector's edition, you won't get this gun. I get plus 5% primary fire damage and then my reload is affected negatively by 5%. Uh, the one he asked me about, which I'm going to show you, is the secondary fire is plus 10%, but I never use the secondary fire on it anyways. I'm plus 5%. And then this one is just the normal one. But that one you can't get till chapter 7, so this is why I tell you to download the DLC pack. You'll get the Bloody Force Gun, the Martial Law pack. But uh, I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you liked it, favorite it, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.